Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Stellar Blade Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So in this episode, we're going to be taking the hyperdrive to the Presence Chamber, and then seeing what else can, what else we got to do. So yeah, <laughs> if you notice the fact that a lot of our side quests are completed, it's because I went ahead and turned in got the rewards really didn't we really didn't miss much most of it most of it was um sp that i went went ahead and used to acquire a couple skills nothing again nothing major i finally picked up the the ambush skills um because i guess why not and beta chain so which will empower the last move of a combo for the cost of an energy brick but for the combo I'm using, I should probably be able to generate enough beta energy from just casual hit, from just hits to be able to pay for it, I think. But anyway. See? Anyway. That's pretty much it. So, let's go ahead and go turn in this stuff. Oh, right. Before I forget, yes, Eve looks a little different. I'm trying out the um, shorter ponytail because the longer one was kind of starting to annoy me a little bit and one of the quests side quest that i completed opened up the ability to change our hair so the hairstyle is a little different and i added a bit of pink coloration to it there weren't a whole lot of color options so yeah that's pretty much it try it out we're gonna we're gonna try it out for a little while but anyway like i said it's time to go turn this um hyperdrive Give the hyperdrive to, um, you know, where it needs to be. I still absolutely do not trust, um, I do not trust, um, the Orcus or, uh, whatever his name is. It's not, it's not coming to me, but I, I do not trust him. And I know, I know the game is kind of pushing you in that direction. That they, they don't want you to trust the guy and well <laughs> they're doing a pretty good job what is this this is creepy who are you forgive me I was wrong it is all my fault this is proper creepy a lot of teddy bears I have a feeling probably... Nope. <laughs> I don't want to know. Nothing else to pick up. Okay, cool. What is that? Oh, wait. Bit of gold. I already have this one, right? I do. Okay. I'm going to stop stalling. All right. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. In we go. Just making sure my ammo is full. Oh, as expected. Yeah, Oracle, that's a sign. My eyes did not deceive me. Excellent work, Adam. I'll leave this one to you as well. Let's go to the hyperdrive. It's 
secondary drive energy injection. Initiating activation. Whoa! It looks brighter now. Yes. What we're doing is really worth it. Is it? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. And again, I get it. They're kind of, they want you to not trust it. At least with all of the, like, um, the documents and stuff, the data we've picked up about people just not trusting the Oracle and whatnot. It's, I don't trust it. And I'll, 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 I'll stop talking about it now. <laughs> I'm sure that gets kind of annoying. But I'm sure he's going to be sending us off for the next hyperdrive. Once again, thank you. Now it's your turn. Wait. He will give you an answer. There's a sewage treatment facility and a train graveyard in the old city center. I am detecting the frequencies of an alpha nativa coming from Matrix 11. Matrix 11? I will forward the map data to the tetrapod. It will guide you as you attempt to travel to the alpha nativa's location. Okay. Thanks for helping us. It means a lot. None of this can compare to all that you have done for Zion, I assure you. <clears throat> I wish you luck. Hmm, okay. So he was actually a bit helpful. Still don't trust it. Oh my god. So many requests. And I mean naturally I'm gonna pick them I'm gonna pick every last one of them up. I'm gonna pick every last one of them up because I have no reason not to. <laughs> uh. Because I mean there's stuff we'll probably be doing in our next area, so the town seems different. I see more people, more signs. I told you, what we've accomplished has been well worth it. I don't think we'll be catching any more sideways glances. Well, that's great to hear. To be honest, I was getting a bit anxious. I'm heading over to the tetrapod. Why don't you take some time to enjoy the yeah. new scenery? Okay, well I'm, gl I'm glad they kind of say, they tell you to... They kind of tell you to look around, which I, I uh, appreciate that. Okay, first one we're going to go to is over here. Is that... I kind of wish we had a mini-map, but I guess this works. I wonder. Nope. Is it down in there? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. It's you, Angel. Now why would an angel visit the last gulp? Here for a song, perhaps? I could ask you the same. I thought you'd be busy collecting scraps or trading like the other scavengers. Yeah. That's what I'd be doing. If it wasn't for my partner screwing up. He entered the forbidden area. Mm trying to find a jackpot for the sake of Zion and the store. Or so he says, that place is the Devil's Lair. That's why there's lost treasure in it. Devil's Lair? Yes, the Devil's Lair. An underground chamber echoing with the roars of Natibas. I even got near the place to find my partner. But I turned back like a coward. 
After that, I couldn't possibly continue life as a scavenger. I can't stand idly by if Natibas are involved. I'll help. What? Why? There's nothing in it for you, but I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. I just want to know if Tommy is alive. All I need you to do is find him. Fair enough. Send me the location. We've actually been to that place um, once before. It was that big empty place that I kept saying, ah, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> so we have been there before. Enya, what is it? Eve. What's wrong? You're not singing like usual. Well, the thing is, it's Sue. He hasn't come here recently. I've also heard that he's seeing someone else. Do you... do you think he will abandon me? I don't think Sue would do a thing like that. Please, don't worry. This might just be a misunderstanding. Where exactly did you hear this? I heard it from Bo, one of Sue's colleagues. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this, but I can't leave here because of my legs. Can you ask around for me and maybe find out what's going on? Okay, just hang on. There's no reason to be so anxious. Thank you very much. Hmm. Sue, what are you doing? You best not be hurting her. You best not be hurting her. Okay, so that is both of those picked up. And next one... I'll grab that one next. And I'll also go ahead and talk to... Since I'm going to be right here, I'm going to go ahead and talk to Bo. I can't guarantee that I'll actually record myself completing these side quests. Because I kind of want to focus on the story for the Let's Play, but... Yeah, we'll see. What brings an angel here? I heard that you've been saying some strange things about Sue. What? Oh, right. You probably heard that from Enya, didn't you? But I guess that's not that important. I haven't seen Sue at all for the past few days now. Sorry, Sue's abandoned his post. He's not the type to do something like that. That's exactly what I'm saying. I wonder what happened to him. I'll have to investigate these in the right order. Do you know who Sue was meeting up with without Enya's knowledge? I... I couldn't say for certain. They were far away. Ah, uh, all right. This complicates things. Hmm. That is interesting, though. All right. Well, let's keep going. This is the shop where you can get um, new hairstyles. I don't think I can go that way to get where I'm going. This way, Angel. Keep quiet. Just follow me. Uh, what? What is it? What's this about? I told you to keep quiet and follow me. What? <laughs> what? I'm confused. Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Uh, whatever it is, I'll let you guys... I'll let you know what it is, like, after the fact. Angel! Uh, the looters took my sister! What? Please, save my younger sister! Where are the looters now? There! Down the alley! Uh, this is a trap. Wait right here! This is such a trap. Or, I mean, I, I mean I'm, I'm cynical by nature, so... So actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and do this.
Yeah, I saw that coming. happy to call you the angel just because you came from the colony. Aren't we humans just like you? Well, why should we have to dig through garbage, cower and hide from the Ativos just to survive? Why? But, didn't you know? How could you not? All of Actual angels. There are many treasures, but none more precious than the materials inside your body. That's what I figured. And with the body a state of the art is yours? Need I say more? I've got to say, it'll be nice to hear a thank you for a change. <laughs> this is okay. Kind of stupid. Okay, someone came in to rescue us. Abe, are you alright? Adam, awesome. Focus on me, can you do that? Adam? These are black market merchants. I didn't think they'd approach airborne squad members. <sighs> this can't be. I've never seen this before. It looks like Natibas weren't all humans had to worry about. <sighs> huh. Let's get you back to the safe house and do some maintenance. Huh. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Hopefully this doesn't result in us like having to go back and get stuff. No, we're good. Yep, Natibas aren't the only monsters. Eve, you're here. Look over here. What's this? Uh, this here is an alpha signal meter. This device uses the subtle resonance from the alpha core to pinpoint okay. its location. It can't reach a super long distance, but you'll find it useful once you head over to the location Orkel told you about. Wow, good work. <laughs> You're gonna put me out of a job. I thought you were already out of a job. <laughs> you little brat. Thank you for helping me out all the time, Lily. And just one more. Can you turn around for me? Upgrading something? Here. Yeah, done. What have you done, Lily? I customized the power distribution of the body cell. Doesn't your body feel lighter? Double jump. Something does feel different. If you try jumping, I bet you'll notice the difference. Oh, jeez, now we got double jump. But that's very, uh, disjointed. Oh. Huh. Okay. So did I have to complete that side quest to get the double jump? I'm guessing I did. That's really, really weird. But okay. I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy with the double jump, but that's really kind of weird. I'm going to grab a, f a few more things. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap things up before heading off to the new location. Oh, it's below. Okay. I was wondering. No, 
I was wondering who lived here, who stayed here. Angel? Angel! <sighs> Stop. I'm not an angel. I'm... a child. Angel? The nice man over there told me to bring this over to you. What's this? Dunno, but I accomplished my mission. Bye-bye! <laughs> I got to see the angel up close. That's suspicious. Sending a random child instead of coming to me directly. Yeah. What is this program? Okay. Lower part. Huh. Is it recovery for control the program? Okay. Patelos Plaza. Oh. Is this related to that flooded shopping mall? Yeah, I remember that. That's a pretty vague request. Seems like a trap. Could be. We'll know when we get there. Hmm. What to do? Oblivion? That doesn't sound good. Alright, that's that. Grab this one since I'm right here. noise renovating perhaps you can't just barge in like this the store is closed oh angel uh wh what are you doing here i heard some noise is everything all right oh uh i i didn't know that sorry to bother you angel as you can see this is a general store i, I trade all kinds of items I can't do business, not anymore. Why not? Well, I had a treasure in this store. I, I thought of it as my guardian angel. It's a gilt bronze standing Buddha. Hmm. Old, valuable treasure. But my daughter Arin stole it. That item protects this store. She, she knows how valuable it is. I bet she wanted to sell it at the market. I see. Tell me what I can do to help. Thank you, Angel. Uh, if you terrify the scavengers at the market, <laughs> I'll tell you where it is. Terrify them? Yes, Angel. Please, bring back my gilt bronze standing Buddha. Please, I beg you. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Very strange. Yes, very strange. Grab one more. There's, well, there's this one and then another one. I know this probably is not overly interesting, but Adam did tell us to, hey, go explore a little bit, right? Okay, just making sure. This is the bookstore. Hello there. Not a bookstore. How are you? May Mother Spears' blessings be with you always. Uh, uh, yes. Meeting you like this now, it's Mother's doing. Oh, jeez. She's answered my prayers. If you came all the way to the ground for the sake of Mother Spear, well, I'm sure you'll at least listen to my request. A favor? I have a brother, a good man, and as devout as I am, if not more. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to make it out of Ados 7 before it was submerged. Ados 7. Now, it would be foolish of me to think he managed to survive. However, I would at least like to have his Book of Faith. It was precious to him. To us, that book is even more valuable than our lives. My brother was a librarian at the library in Ados 7. Knowing him, he stayed at that library until the very end to protect it. Please, try to retrieve the Book of Faith from the library. A gold circle is engraved on the cover, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find. All right. Thank you. 
Rest assured, Mother will protect you along your journey. I actually do remember the library in question. I do remember it. But, um, okay, I guess that's fine. And there's one more thing, and then I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap, wrap up the episode. Like I said, I'll probably take care of these, um, missions, uh, these side quests, quests and whatnot in between, in between episodes, just because I don't want to have a whole lot of filler in, in this, and that's kind of what a lot of these are going to be. So, and I'm actually very interested in continuing the story, but anyway, this should be the last one we need to pick up. Hey, you, Angel, fancy learning a little bit about history? History. Me, me, I'm very interested. My goodness. Now that's what I call a surprise. It's wonderful to hear that you're interested. The citizens here are too exhausted or jaded to truly appreciate the wonders of history. Well, I'm not exactly. I'm especially interested in organic civilizations, like the organic humans that lived before us. Unfortunately for us, not many records remain intact. Refusing to listen to others, I see. <laughs> Don't you find it odd? Even if history was neglected, it's strange there is zero mention of organic humans. It's almost as if it's... forbidden knowledge. <sighs> See? Isn't this exciting? Ha! <laughs> of course it is. Curiosity is what drives humanity. We're always learning. Listen, I came up with an idea while wondering where to get records of... Uh, organic humans. I heard that you visited the Hall of Records over in Ada 7. Is that true? And you managed to retrieve a hypercell? That may be true, but... Yes! Then please, grant my wish. I'd like you to get information on organic humans from the information terminal of the Hall of Records. I have total faith in you. Please, please. But the Hall of Records is already... You should be able to connect to the information terminal via the door switch by the entrance. <sighs> Lily, would you like to come along? <laughs> what can I say? I'm curious. Of course I'd like to learn more about the civilization that came before us. Okay. I'll try to look for it the next time I'm in Ados 7. <laughs> I knew it! You and I have something in common after all. Mm. All right, then. I'll be right here, patiently awaiting your return. Go! Run along! Yeah, yeah, I'm going. All right, then. That guy doesn't know when to shut up, does he? But with that, I have a lot of new quests. Joy. <laughs> How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six seven new things to do most of them are in I'll probably do that one first anyway uh with that i am going to go ahead and wrap things up here i know not a whole lot got done think of this as a transition episode between a the lengthy horror filled one last episode and what i'm going to assume is traveling to a brand new area in the next episode but yeah i'll probably go ahead and do most most if not all of this stuff um in between episodes because uh, really doing all this stuff is just for rewards and if I mean but if anything really interesting and big happens I'll make sure to let you know but yeah with that I'm gonna wrap things up if you enjoyed this episode which I do sincerely hope you did please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and if you happen to be new to the channel hello welcome and please do consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.